Hello. We're so glad you could join us today. We are here with Ray Black, who's the director at the Boys and Girls Club, for a little while longer. And he's got an interesting event going on. What is that, Ray? Well, we're going to host our fifth annual Madtown 5K Mud Climb. And that's going to be this Saturday, uh, May 19th. Now, how many years does this make the mud run? It's the fifth year, and uh, we've grown each year. So we've had uh, great success, we feel like. And it's a fun family event that uh, anybody and everybody can com compete in. There's different types of... Uh, different levels of being in the mud run. Some of them you can do the whole mud run, which starts where? Well, we actually start down at the Old Boys mm -hmm. and Girls Club at 601 West 1st Street. We actually run down toward the river, down uh, Vine Street. We take a right on the Vaughn uh, Drive, and then we run to the beginning of the Heritage Trail and go all the way up the Heritage Trail. Are there any challenges along the way between Vaughn Drive and the top of the hill? There are. There are. <laughs> we have uh, 100 tires down uh, that you run through as soon as you enter the uh, Heritage Trail. We have some hurdles that you'll have to uh, jump over. That's down by the sewage plant, so we call those the stinky hurdles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> then we... Uh, we go across the arch bridge and we're going to pick up a tire and carry it down into the creek and through the creek and back out. Then we run about halfway up and we do what we call burpees, different amounts for male, female, or child. And then we continue up to what's called the rock quarry or the overlook. Right. And then we have the tractor tire flip and then also what we call box jumps. Then we proceed the rest of the way to the top of the hill. Uh, we'll head past the cemetery. And then on Boys and Girls Club property, uh, once you get there, if you're in the Beast Cup, you have one extra element. And it's a five-person team, at least two females. And they would pick up a backboard and load one of the five onto the backboard and carry that one-eighth of a mile. Right. Now, if you're not in the Beast Cup, <laughs> you continue to the entrance to John and Sue uh, Paul Way, right. and you pick up a four-by-four four post. And again, we have posts for men, posts for women, and posts for children. They carry that about a quarter of a mile. Then they're going to come back and get go over the eight-foot wall, and then about 24 foot of balance beam. Then they're going to crawl underneath uh, some barbed wire and then through some tubes and then across some monkey bars. Then they're going to enter the <laughs> mud pit, which is lots of fun. And, you, have, you have to at least watch this. And hopefully I've got all the snapping turtles out of there by then. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, folks. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. It would make it interesting. <laughs> and so. then uh, they're going to take and go uh, uh, across the high hurdles. Right. And then they're going to uh, do some chin ups. And then they go across the double gates. Then they're going to crawl through what we call the black box. It's 16 foot long, totally blacked out. If they make it out of there, <laughs> they jump across the far pit and into some ice water. So oh, wow. it makes for a uh, finish line right there. Everybody that finishes gets a medal and a uh, t-shirt, which I'm displaying one from a couple years ago right. today. What color are the shirts this year? Are well, they they're going to be a bright uh, fluorescent type color. And of course, they'll have the brown uh, the color mud. on the... Yeah. Yeah. So, and that has all of our sponsors. We have some great sponsors again this year. Uh, Walmart has ste stepped up as well as uh, Super ATV. And uh, Mass and Chemicals turned in about 78 applications. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Mass and Precisions turned in at least 35 so far. Mass and Chemicals started with one team one year. Yeah, and now they're up to uh, be at least three teams. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, we're very excited and happy for their support and friendship. Every bit of the money goes back to helping our kids. At we've the got, Boys and Girls at Club. At the Light White Boys and Girls Club. Right. And we've got uh, summer programming coming up. We try to help uh, some of our children that come from disadvantaged situations and uh, so they can come and, 
and have a safe place to go during the summer okay. and fun and safe activities to do. Now, what are the summer hours for the Boys and Girls Club? Oh, my. I'm glad you asked that. That's, See, that's really important because it changes yeah, in the summer. It's 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. So all day we yeah. serve a free lunch and a free snack. So, uh, And then on weekends we've been known to send some food home with uh, those children that could use some help over the weekend. Right. So. And, and that's real important. Some of those kids really do need that. It is. I mean, you, you have to have food. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's, it's one no of the necessities fault. of life. It's right. not their fault. No, it's not their fault. And it's not always the parents' fault. Right. They may both have jobs. They're just not making enough to quite stretch it all the way through the week. That's so right. It's, and then we have, we have four different sports camps. We'll have a basketball camp. It's always popular. We have a football academy. We'll have a uh, volleyball camp this year, and of course the old standby wrestling camp. So all those will be going on, plus our four, five, and six-year-old t-ball will be going on pretty much June and July. Right. Uh, so all summer long, and then we'll take a start to wrap up uh, with the fishing tournament on August 4th, and then on August the 11th, uh, we'll have our uh, annual Farmers Bank of Milton golf scramble and that's important too because that yeah. raises money for the club it helps the club and then august 15th is my last official <laughs> day as the executive director anywhere. so uh, i will step down as well, the you director will, you will step aside I, I don't think you're leaving right so, you're no, not you're not no. really going anywhere but brandy will be uh, the person in charge so brandy she'll Pauling, just keep doing what she's been doing she's gonna do great yeah and she always gets all the paperwork together and yeah. says it's time to do this this and this yeah so, so if, if you're interested in the mud run, uh, go to www.madtownmudrun.com or you can go to our regular website at www.lidewhite.com or you can stop by at 1551 MSH Northgate Road or you can give us a call at 812 Two six five five eight one one. So those are all ways to contact right. us. We also have a presence on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Look up uh, Lied White or Lied White Boys and Girls Club, and we post a lot of things on that as well. Now they can sign up ahead of time for the mud run all they, week they, this week. They, they want sign to up. sign up ahead of time because there's a little <laughs> penalty. There's fee. just a little one. Yeah. Uh, for signing up the day of. Well, it's not really a penalty. It's an added donation to the kids. That's right. That's it's, right. It's so if you want to help great. the club, you sign up late. Yes. <laughs> yes. The more You'll help us a lot more. You'll help a lot more if you sign up late. <laughs> but uh, so. you can sign up. Uh, actually, the day of the event will be set up between 7 and 8 a.m. But you'll be set up downtown. Down at 601 West 1st right. Street, which is actually the old boys club. Yes, it is. And it's yeah. the visitor center now. So uh, we appreciate them now, helping Now what us. time do they have to sign up that morning, the morning of, which is this Saturday? Yes, this Saturday. Saturday. They have to be signed up by 8 because I start shooting the gun off at 8. Okay. The starter pistol will go at, I don't want to say gun, we're shooting the starter pistol. <laughs> hey, and, he, he's on time, let me tell you. And, and we'll hit it at 8, we'll hit it at 8.15, we'll hit it at 8.30 until everybody gets to go out. Uh, depending on how many uh, people sign up. Yeah, you send up. so many out at a time. You don't 25. Send, yeah, you don't send them all at once. Right, so, 25 yeah. so we got a chance to get through the obstacles. Right, yeah. and that helps the volunteers. Do you have enough volunteers this no, year we, anymore? No, we're needing some volunteers. I'm actually going to be talking to uh, the Hanover College football coach today yes. and uh, making sure that we got some of those Hanover College football players that can help yeah. uh, some of our contestants get through some of the more difficult uh, obstacles. Right, and there's some of the, like the tractor tires. Yeah. You, you know, you gotta have somebody, or one or more, yeah. to make sure that tractor tire can be moved if they get That's right. get away from somebody. Yeah, we don't want them rolling down the hill. No, no. <laughs> you have to go get them then. Yeah, bring them yeah, back. it's not fun. <laughs> no. But, well, Ray, this is wonderful. Is there anything else we need to make sure people know about all this? Well, we cover the time that they have to sign up again that, that morning, right. starting at what time? Seven until 8 a.m. on Saturday. May 19th. The big thing is, is for all you heritage trail walkers, make sure that you try to get your walking in before 6 on Friday and don't come back out until 12 noon on Saturday because we'll be setting up right. obstacles 
and we don't want you to be hurt uh, right. or, or put yourself in jail. And you're going to set those up on Friday. That's why you're asking them not yes. to walk on Friday. Yes, we're going we're so. to start setting them up on Friday. Right. Uh, the, all the 100 tires will be put down. Right. The tires at the creek will be put in. Uh, stuff will be dropped off so that it's ready to go and early Saturday morning. A lot morning. of people walk before daylight, just right. Or at, right at daylight, and you're not going to see some of these things they have laid out in the trail so yeah it'd be best not to not to walk yeah. if you can just avoid it during that short period of time mm -hmm. we're is for your safety friday till saturday at noon yes so that would be great that'd be great well ray once again thanks so much for being with us thank you debbie you're welcome and as for you all make it out to the mud run and thanks so much for watching Thank you.